Schuster and I'm back with another pickup. This time it's a trade video or more of a trade pickup because me and the person that I traded with, they got their shoes already that they wanted. And these, these are what I wanted, the Red October. So I got these and because of the value of the shoe that I traded and the Red Octobers were not in DS condition, we added this one to the trade which is these KD7s and they feel like they're good for basketball these are a size 13 if you're interested in these um, these are gonna be up for sale on Depop and Poshmark so if you want those those will be up for grabs so let's get on to the Red October is the main reason why I did this trade adjust this camera for you and looking at them these are the high quality uh, replicas that that I wanted uh, most sellers are asking 200 for these so I don't know about you but I'm not paying that much for no shoes especially um, that you can get something better for that and I don't know why these sellers are setting those the shoes so high I don't believe any replica should be higher than $120 no matter what it is with probably the exception of the mags because those used to, well they used to use high quality materials now they use cheap materials to make them so that's pretty those are pretty up there too and I think they raised the price on those too but anyway back to the red octobers taking a look at them I cleaned them up a little bit as far as the suede and stuff, I brushed it out a little bit to make it softer. And I replaced the little gold lace anglets there. They were too big for the screw. Like you can literally just pull it apart. So what I did is, is I used some, um, I used a mixture of, of some industrial glue and some shoe glue. And I put it inside of here and then I screwed that piece in there and it filled up the substance that I put in there filled up the thread around the threading. So now they stay on there. They're stuck on there. They're not coming off. And I used the laces from the bag. Let me get the bag real quick. So here's the bag. It's a... Uh, Nike Sportswear on one side has got the little the little logo on the other side and I don't know why but for some reason on the Yeezys on the replicas they always put the correct laces on the bag along with the anglets and the little lace locks because these were the, on this shoe but these don't have a Roman numeral behind it and the ones that were on the bag have the Roman numeral let me see if I can you can see it there. There it is. And there's a flaw I'm seeing right now. And I don't know if you know about this, but you see the strap, it's supposed to be sitting on the second lace loop right here. So it's it's a little high. See that gap? It shouldn't be there. And technically you can fix that if you just cut the threading off of this you can glue it down here but this strap is too high too from the research I did the stitching is supposed to line up with the first line here so it's a little high and if you move the strap down it's not gonna be uh, it won't be um, what you call it lined up correctly with the, the little hole here It'll be too low, so I'm just gonna leave that as is. Another one I see is the little lace eyelets here. They're too light, they're supposed to be darker, like a darker red. And those were the only flaws I, I've seen. Everything else looks good on them. The suede does come over the little hump there. And behind the little rubber triangles, there's like a canvas material back there. I don't know if you can see it here. 
But it's got two materials on it. A good look at it there, you can see it's got a, like right here, it's got like a canvas material. Try to focus in on it. Well, it doesn't want to, but anyway, uh, checking the, the soles on them, I didn't see much glow on the bottom, but along the side, it's got a light glow, it's not too dark anymore, I mean, it's not so bright anymore, and uh, that's normally what happens with the shoes that glow in the dark after years of use and stuff, it kind of goes away. So here's the other shoe, and you can see the tongue has the little designs on it, and you can make those darker if you want to, just to make it look a little more authentic. And these need some touch-ups on the midsoles, but I don't know what, what color red to use. You see that one is pretty scuffed up right there. It may be infrared, I'm not sure, but um, anyway. The reason I wanted these is to complete my collection because I've done it before but with the lower quality $50 versions and those were too small. I think they only make those up to like maybe a 10 and a half or 11 is the biggest size they make them. So if you buy a 13 or 12 of those you're going to get pretty much a 10 and a half to 11. They don't make them much bigger than that. And I do remember because all three of them that I had they ran real small. And they hurt my feet after a while, so these run true to size. And so do the other two high quality ones that I got here, and I'm gonna show them to you right now. Here we got the solar reds. Those are just as big as those. And let me move the camera back a little bit. So get all three of them in there. And I got the platinums. So they're all three here. Let me go ahead and lift up the camera so I can get a better look at these. And I got all three of these in a trade in trades also. So here's a look at the platinums. They got the carved scales on them. And these are pretty good. I've worn these three times already. And I added some paint, glow in the dark paint to the midsole here. So those do glow when they, when you turn the lights off. And here's the solar reds. These I gave the scales a dusty look to make it look like it should have been. So it looks a little dirty and dusty now. Pretty much faded. These they have a little bit of carved scale, but they're not carved correctly. You can see it's they're barely carved, but I just didn't feel like doing it, so I just left it alone too. And you can see on that one too the straps; these are a little lower than the Red October's, and so are these. You can see the difference in it. And another thing with these, um, the toe box, the material here is a lot different from the other two. You can look at that one and this one. They have like little diamond mat material. It's got like a little diamond pattern to it. And these have a like circle, almost like a circle material. They show up better on these. You can see that material there is different. that one so that's another thing you got to look out when you buy the cheap version of these don't put this material on it so yeah, that's pretty much it just wanted to show you the other trade another successful trade I did where I got what I wanted and the person I traded with got what they wanted so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get up out of here and uh Hit me up if you want to trade something too. I always ask that um, 
to see um, if the condition is the same of what I'm sending. If not, we'll have to work out another deal like I did with these here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here and I'll catch you on the next one.